Hey everyone, this is Fred Ranger. I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'm actually unboxing one of the greatest camera of all time, and I'm so happy that I have it back. Uh, I, if you watch the latest video, you'll see that I had one for a weekend, and I could not resist actually buying it back. I tried to manage my way around uh, not having this camera, but it was missing my kit so much that I decided to buy it. So, without further ado, let's see what's in the box here. Don't you love it when you have a brown box that arrives at your door? I certainly do because it's usually some goodie and lately and for the past year I would say, uh, it's been some Fuji goodie. So let's see if uh, this is the case here. I think it is because it's coming from a camera store in Canada. So I think it might be it, it should be it. There you have it. This is the Fujifilm X100. Uh, very nice packaging as uh, they are known for. Fujifilm is known for very good packaging. I remember the X100, the original one when I, when I unboxed it. Actually, I can put a video here, I think, or here. Um, if you want to see it, that, that was from like six years ago. That's an old video. But I remember the box was so uh, incredibly well done. Not, not just the outside box, but the inside one where the camera would be presented in a little uh, box where uh, you had like some fabric in there and it was really well made. So let's see what's in the box of an Fuji X. X100F and like I said I could not resist buying it back because I have the uh, X-T2 really really happy with this camera also have the X-Pro2 and I have the X70 but uh, the X100 was so missing from my kit uh, it's just the perfect size for traveling and for street photography so um, again could not resist not buying it so very nice packaging here from Fuji as always let's see what's inside that black box that Fuji is now known for. So inside the black box you have a white box with the nice little X on it and when we open up that box you're gonna find some literature here. Lenses, yes, Fuji lenses are good, love it. The manuals, like always, like uh, as usual, I really entice you to go download the PDF version put it in your iBook or put it in your smartphone and tablet so you have access to it anywhere you are in the world. And then we open up the box and as you can see here, uh, there's no fancy box like the original X100, uh, but you are finding all the elements very easily. So the first thing you're gonna find in the box is the strap, obviously. If anyone has a good recommendation for a uh, leather strap, um, I would love to replace that one. I mean, I'll use that one. It's, a, it's, a, it's an okay strap for now, uh, but I was looking at Gordy strap. I think they're pretty good. Also some Sailor strap with the, um, the, the other fabric there. Uh, but ultimately, I would want a strap that actually looks good with the camera, but also very good quality without having to pay ginormous shipping fees uh, as uh, as you know I mean I'm in Canada so sometimes the shipping fees are just killing it so strap is obviously the first thing uh, you'll get outside of the manuals and then you'll get that charger that we're all familiar with uh, which is your um, Fuji charger and it's gonna charge obviously uh, the batteries um, for the uh, not, not not just for the X100 but also for the X-Pro2 and the X-T2 which is pretty cool and there it is this is the battery and this is the newer battery. So this is the uh, NPS126S. Uh, uh, yeah, NP, so, sorry, NPW126S. And this is the latest one, the one that deceives the, the heat uh, uh, more efficiently. Uh, but of course you can use the uh, NPW126 also in the camera, although I'm not sure it's recommended. You have your USB cable to be able to either charge the camera, which is really cool, and also transfer files if you need to. I would not recommend doing that, but if you have to, you do have the USB cable to do that. And then this uh, massive extension that comes with the charger, and again, if you watched my other videos, there's a little hack. Of course, you can put a Mac uh, power cord, little thingy that comes with your uh, laptop power cord, and you just put it in there, and then you have a wall charger, and it's less cumbersome to travel with. 
Also comes with the protector for uh, the strap so it doesn't worn out the side of the camera. And the camera itself, this one is mine. This is not uh, on loan from uh, Fuji. And if I look here, it has this little seal. Make sure when you buy a camera, a Fuji camera especially, that it has the seal here because this is a seal uh, or basically making sure that this is a new camera. Nobody opened it either at the store or at the uh, factory. So there you go. And I decided to go with silver. All my other ones, X-T2, X-Pro2 are black, but this one, oh my God, I love this camera. Um, I missed, uh, a couple things that I missed from that camera, the form factor. This is such the perfect form factor for traveling. It's not too big, but it's also not, you know, as small as, uh, let's say a Canon G7X uh, or these little pocketable camera. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like the Fuji X70, I really like it, but I was missing the viewfinder. Uh, I was actually bringing the X70 to my eye when I was shooting because I'm so used to actually looking through a viewfinder and putting my eye like that. So basically, yeah, <laughs> I was missing that viewfinder and it got better. I mean, the first viewfinder on the Fujifilm X100 was not that great, but I'm happy to report having used the camera um, the past uh, weekend that uh, now you have a very uh, good uh, viewfinder. So. The battery is, like I said, uh, the one that you can find in the X-T2 and the X-Pro2 and now you get a larger uh, capacity in that battery. And you also have your little uh, SD card here. Uh, one thing that I don't like and I, I think they should have uh, uh, you know, fixed is the, where the tread of the tripod mount is. Uh, if you look here, it's actually right here. So if you put a pl plaque here or something to hold your camera on a tripod, you won't be able to change your battery because it will interfere with the battery door here. So that's one thing that I think Fuji can could uh, potentially do uh, in the next iteration of the Fuji X100. Uh, the joystick, of course, I won't do like uh, the same video that I just did uh, one video ago. If you want to watch it, um, you can just click here or here. I, I never know where that with these cards are. Anyways, on the card that will show up. Um, can't wait to go shoot with that one. This is 24 megapixel of pure joy with the X-Trans sensor, uh, X-Trans tree sensor. So the same sensor, X-Pro2, X-T2, uh, of course, with the dials edition here. Uh, oh, the dials feels really nice, actually. I, I forgot about that uh, uh, feeling of the dials on when I shot it last weekend. Also the ISO dial, um, yes, some people are not happy with that, but you know what, for me, I will change that uh, auto ISO and I will play with my ISO with the front dial if need be. So I like to reassign all my buttons. I still don't like the Q uh, menu here where I can hit it with my thumb, but uh, somebody in the comment uh, from my last video actually made a really, really good suggestion and it was to use my thumb grip that I have with my X-Pro2 or to order another one and put it right here so my thumb would actually rest on the thumb grip and not on the Q button or the dials here. Uh, the, also, the, the other really cool thing about this camera is the fact that you can buy some uh, converter for the lens, a tele converter, and you can also find a, a wide angle converter. So I'm really considering getting these ones and, and making this my ultimate travel kit um, without having to bring you know, the heavy guns. I'm going to Brooklyn uh, next weekend, not the one that's coming, but the one after. And I, yeah, although I might bring that for some like, very um, intense portrait shooting. Uh, I might actually end up using that very camera for you know 70, 80 percent of my shots, just walking around Brooklyn and New York. I think this is the ideal camera for that. Um, another thing that will uh, make this camera very uh, cool is the uh, the actual weight of it. Like if you put it on your neck or if you have it in your bag, it, it, it's basically not uh, heavy at all, and it makes it for uh, again a very very portable camera. So that's it, this is just the unboxing. This is what's in a box of the Fujifilm X100F. I'm so happy to have that camera back. Uh, if you have any questions about the camera, please let me know. If you wanna see uh, some photos of the X100F, I will put that on my Instagram feed. If you're not following me on Instagram, click here or here or somewhere where I'll put the link uh, or the, uh, the handle. And you can find me at Fred Ranger on all the social media platforms. Please make sure to ask your questions below. If you have any recommendation on the strap, like I said, please put the, them down below too. And I'm Fred Ranger, be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your gear. Cheers. Cheers.